welcome back. My name is Eva and I'm very excited to take you guys through this upper body strength workout specifically for people with hypermobility and HEDS. Now in today's workout we're going to be using dumbbells. Um, I have a set of two pound dumbbells which are going to be kind of my warm-up weight. I have a set of five pound dumbbells that are going to be a little bit more of my active working weight. You can absolutely do any single one of these exercises with more weight, less weight, or even just do it body weight. Today's workout is designed to be a little bit more intermediate in that um, ideally it's gonna be for people who have kind of already built some foundational shoulder strength, connection to the upper back, some solidness in the neck. Um, but as always, I encourage you guys to give it a try and if anything is feeling the not good kind of challenge, meaning painful, Maybe this is just not the exercise for you, and that's totally cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my twos, which are right here. And I'm gonna just find myself in a standing position, feet underneath me, and as always, let's just start with a little bit of breath. You're gonna take a big inhale, and exhale. And cycle through that breath about five times. And as I often do with these videos these days, I may not do every exercise with you entirely because often what I'm gonna do is just cue you guys to the exercise. I'm gonna help you walk through this with good form, which can be a little tricky sometimes when I'm doing it as well. So let's go two more breaths, nice and big and slow. <sighs> the breath feels good. Give me one more in breath. And out breath. And now on your next in-breath, glide one arm forward, moving from the shoulder. Bring it up to about shoulder height, and then bring it back down again. And we're going to alternate through these. Now, as promised, let me cue you through this a bit. As you cycle through the movement, I want you to think about it coming from the shoulder. So kind of like the hand is just like the end of the exercise here but the movement starts at the shoulder so that you can really feel that connection build to all those little, little shoulder activating muscles. And you're gonna to continue to alternate, making sure you're breathing. And as you cycle through this, if it's feeling too grippy or heavy, like I said, you can always do it body weight, but you can also just shorten the range of motion. Make it a little bit smaller. Maybe that's where you feel most connected today. Sometimes when I'm tight and tired, it's like right here, and that's, that's it. But we're not trying to get grippy, we're trying to get strong. So I'm gonna go two, and one, and bring it down, and hopefully just got a little bit of movement there. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do a similar sequence, but laterally, which means we're gonna take our arms simultaneously out to the side, and lower down. Then I have a weird plot twist for you guys. Take it one arm out and bring it down. And the other arm out, I know, a little bit of a brain bender and bring it down. Because now we're going to go back to double arms. Both arms. Keep them in your peripheral vision. You should always be able to see your hands. Please don't bring them behind your body. And then again, let's go one arm. Keep it in your vision. And the other arm. And once again, just figure out what range feels good for you. But we want this movement to come from the shoulders. If you are like me and you have hyperextended elbows, meaning they bend past a straight line, really focus on keeping that soft bend in your elbow here, all right? A solid grip on these dumbbells. And open. And down. And once again, getting the shoulder arms only to about shoulder height, because we are gonna do a little bit of overhead work as well. But hopefully you're feeling strong and connected into the shoulders. I'm gonna do one more round of each of these. So we're gonna pull out. Ooh, yeah, that feels good. And the upper back and the shoulders. And last one and bring it back down and pause. All right, guys, roll the shoulders back a couple of times, softly and smoothly. 
And now we are gonna do a little bit of overhead work. So for this, I am gonna do one arm at a time. I'm actually gonna put one dumbbell down just because that tends to feel a little more structured and comfortable for me. I like to keep my opposite hand on my hip. Arm is just gonna bend and you are welcome to come parallel. You're welcome to come out. Once again, your hand should always just be lightly in your peripheral vision. But you're gonna take a big in breath and on your out breath, slowly start pushing your arm overhead. You will notice for this first round, I am not getting to a straight line and that's fine. And then slowly bring it back down. The reason I didn't extend all the way is because if I was to just pop up, my shoulder is coming right up around my ear. So I wanna give my arms a couple of repetitions to kind of ease into this movement. Make sure you breathe with it. And again, make sure you're staying connected into the shoulder socket. When I first started doing this exercise, like I could barely get the dumbbell over my head. So if that's where you are today, that's fine. The strength is gonna come with time, but we don't wanna, <laughs> this is like one of those few times that the phrase fake it till you make it doesn't really apply here. You actually want to <laughs> be honest about where you are. And I'm gonna go for three more. And I'm gonna shift, and I, now I'm just gonna do these last two with my elbow wide, because that's just feeling good to me here. Choo, hoo, and that challenges the lat muscle a little bit more. And one, lower back down, oh, and relax. All right, shake that arm out, check in really quick, just to see how the shoulders are feeling. You guys might even be able to see on camera, like the shoulder just feels so much lower. Crazy, right? Let's go ahead and to the other side. Because we just activated all these muscles, so shouldn't they be grippier and tense? It's actually not always the way it works when we do these kind of slow, controlled, very active movements. It can actually help alleviate muscle tension, which is really nice. Once again, find that movement from the shoulder socket. Staying connected here, even if you want to bring your arm on it, or your other hand onto it, to feel that feedback. Keep breathing and control the movement on both sides, or both directions, so it's not just a plop down. It's a very kind of active, controlled movement, even in this what we call eccentric lowering here. All right, I'm gonna start taking my elbow out to the side. I'm gonna do three. This one feels a little wonkier, so I'm gonna see if I can kind of, oh, yep, yeah, there we go, sort it out. I'm not gonna get nearly as high, and we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna do one more. Ooh, this arm has some catching up to do. And bring it back down, and relax. All right, guys, go ahead, and you can ditch your weights for a second, and just take note of where your shoulders are. Do they feel lower? Do they feel more open? Are you getting a little clenchy? Take a breath, settle into it, and I'm gonna grab my fives now. So this is gonna be more of what is my working weight. And we're gonna go into some just very kind of basic movements, and I'm gonna cue them a little different for hypermobility. So you're welcome to do this seated if your legs are getting tired, but on your exhale, you're gonna keep your palms facing each other. Pull the dumbbells up towards your shoulders and then softly lower them down. And the reason I say pull the dumbbells up to your shoulders is because I want you to feel that tension. Because if we just say bend the elbows and bicep curl, what happens? This happens, you know? And no real work is happening there. It's a lot of momentum. So you keep a nice grip on the dumbbells and I want you to feel that pulling that resistance from gravity. That's a cue that I often use in studio. You're resisting the pull of gravity, slowing things down. Because as I've said many, many times before, hypermobile people, we love to do things quickly. <laughs> so a real challenge is when we slow it down. And we're gonna do just a nice bicep movement. 
And you may not get all the way up to your shoulder, like that's fine, just get as high as you can. When you get to the bottom, careful not to dead weight the elbows because that's when we're gonna go into that hyper lock. You're always gonna keep a little bit of activity even in this downward direction. Let's go three. Then we're gonna add on a bit here too. And let's go one more. My arms are tired today. And bring it back down and pause. All right, guys. So from here, I'm going to stay in this kind of angled direction. And all I want you to do is put a soft bend in your knees. I'm going to take a big inhale and exhale, softly tip your body forward just to about 45 degrees, but keep your shoulders pulled back, okay? Try not to dead weight round them. Keep everything nice and active and then stand yourself up. All right, so we're just working a little bit on posture. Now, when you see this in more traditional kind of like functional classes, oftentimes they'll be like, all right, hit parallel to the floor. Well, that is not always a super stable position, especially when you don't have the core and hip stability to support yourself there. So we're just gonna do exactly the same exercise and make it a little slower and smaller. It's no better or worse, it's just different. Inhale as you glide forward. And one thing I'm, one cue I'm gonna give you here is instead of thinking of pulling your shoulders back, think about having them slide down your back. And see if that changes the activation for you. In an ideal world, we wanna feel this kind of right in between the shoulder blades. We're gonna try adding on a movement. We're gonna do two more reps and then we're gonna hold it. All right, if you need a break, go for it, but otherwise join me here and pause. Now, gliding your elbow up and back and then release it. And gliding up and back and release it. And this is why I say glide up and back, not pull. Because pull means elbow will end up very far behind the body and shoulder will end up awkward. Really create that same resistance against gravity And if this is feeling too stressful on your low back, you can always stagger your feet. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take this today because my, my mid back was feeling kind of tight this morning and I'm feeling it a bit in that movement. So I'm just gonna keep my feet staggered because it feels more supported to me. All right, let's get three more here. Two. One, stand up tall and relax. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. All right, with the dumbbell still in hand, just take a big inhale, softly glide your shoulders up. Softly glide them down. Let's go two more like that. Softly glide them down. One more. And down we go and relax. All right, guys, we're going to do one more slightly more integrated series. Integrated meaning we're going to move the feet a little bit as well. I'm going to go back to my working area, my um, warm up weight here, because I'm just feeling a little fatigued in my shoulders today. So I'm going to hit this with the twos. But in essence, what we're going to do is reach one arm forward while the opposite foot steps back or excuse me, while the same foot steps back. Oh, so again, a little bit of a brain bender, as you can tell. So just to give you an idea of what this is gonna look like, arms are gonna start at about chest level. You can do this without weight as well. As you glide one hand forward, shift the same foot back, and then step together. And glide the opposite arm forward, and that same foot's going back. So basically one side of the body is gonna get really long. And this is a little bit of a balance challenge. So I'll do this on the angle just so you can see what it looks like. Boop. And reach, and again, finding that connection to the shoulder, to your back. 
Now a little bit to the hips and ankles as well because we're integrating. And what are we doing here right now? We're very awkwardly mimicking walking. The same motions, that same twisting motion that happens through the ribs, the spine, the hips, all the way down to the legs, that spiral. This actually feels kind of nice, so hopefully it's feeling good to you. Let's go two and one and relax. All righty, guys. Beautiful job today. That is going to be our day. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're feeling strong in the upper body. And I'm very excited to be back with another video very, very soon. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys later.